the Alexander von Como Foundation that was founded in the 19th century to promote uh, international research between Germany and the world and to overcome boundaries. So they, it exists primarily to invite international researchers to Germany for the sake of studying things German or studying with Germans on any topic uh, that's of significance. So it's all the disciplines and it's all the countries in the world. Um, I came to it through a, a long trajectory of studying German in 1997 when I started my PhD at the University of Toronto, I decided to do German philosophy. For that reason, I needed to study German. And so I went to Germany to do an intensive course there. And then I applied for uh, a German academic exchange scholarship to do part of my PhD research in Germany. At that point, I heard of this Humboldt Fellowship, which is sort of like the pinnacle of academic prizes in Germany, and planned to apply for it when I had sufficient credentials. So it's been a path that I've been on for some time. Um, one has to be nominated. So you apply uh, in, in coordination with a host institution in Germany that knows of you, knows of your project, and nominates you or supports your application. I had two such supporters, uh, one at the University of Freiburg and the other one at the University of Bonn. These would be colleagues of mine, people that I've worked with on different projects over the years, uh, people with my, whom I have a pretty close connection. So the plan is to go to Germany for eight months and to get started on a new research project, which is in philosophy, in German philosophy, German theology. Um, the project is actually German idealism and the influence of alchemy and hermeticism on German idealism. My interest in that historical project is broader than German idealism that extends to psychotherapy. Um, I'm planning to write a book on the metaphysics of psychotherapy. And in order to write that book, I need to go into this um, fairly concentrated period of German intellectual life in the 19th century when alchemy, hermeticism, was being combined with a great deal of speculation about the structure of the personality. And out of that fertile terrain, psychoanalysis developed. This is where Freud came from, this is where Jung came from. So I'm trying to unravel that story for the sake of telling a new story. And uh, hope you get started on it next year.